<laughs> this video is gonna be very difficult for me to make. It actually marks the um the death of what am I very okay, you read the title. Sorry, I'm <laughs> not doing that. Um you read the title, today I'm talking about Flash. Now, more specifically, I'm going to be talking about Adobe Flash Player, which uh, today, assuming I'm uploading this on the right day, is being officially discontinued uh, worldwide due to it being outdated and also the security issues that are uh, pretty prominent within the program. Now, if somehow you don't know what Flash Player is, I'll explain it. It's basically a software uh, you can create content like uh, art, animation, and games on it. Shut up, Cosmo. I'm making a video. Anyway, it's been wildly popular over the last two decades, and I, being uh, uh, being born within that time period, uh, did manage to consume a large amount of content of the hundreds of thousands of works of animation, games, and art, and all the different things on there. And uh, really, Flash and all the weird stuff that you can find uh, made with it kind of helped me, kind of helped shape who I am right now. I would not be the same person if I didn't grow up playing really weird flash games and watching really weird animations. There's just so many examples I can list. You had Quop, Learn to Fly 2, Happy Wheels was really popular, uh, Balloons Tower Defense I think was a flash game. There's just so many. I can't even name a good list of all of my favorites because I just, there's too many. I played them all over so many years of my life and now it's all going away which is it's sad. It's just kind of sad. I mean, I know Newgrounds. I think they have their own player or something like that now. And a lot of people are converting their old games and animations to HTML. But, I mean, think about the h hundreds of thousands of pieces of work that are just going just gonna to be forever lost to history because nobody's bothered to convert them to something we can view nowadays or archive them. And the Internet has done a very good job of archiving as much as they can. You have sites like Internet Archive. I'm going to say archive just one more time, just for the heck of it. And uh, But there's also thousands, hundreds of thousands of things that aren't going to make it on there. Because obviously you can't contain everything on the internet on a single website. And uh, yeah, it's, I'm just kind of sad about it. And I don't really think it's something I've outgrown either. Like, I was playing Flash games a lot more from ages like 5 to 9 maybe. But even last year, I remember when school was still a thing. Um... I know ancient times I'm living in, but I remember I finished my finals, and then I'd hop on the Unblocked Games website to play, like, Run 3, or Fancy Pants Adventures, or, um, Cat Mario, just classics like those, and it wasn't even that long ago. Now that I think about it, I'm not even sad about not being able to watch this content, because if I want, I can, I'll, I'll always be able to find what I'm looking for, and I'll find a way to, to get it back again. But what I'm really sad about it is that other people won't be able to. It kind of makes me feel old. Uh, I'm not old. I'm not old. Look, I'm a, I'm a child. Um, but the next generation is not gonna. They're not gonna go onto some archive and and download some flash game and an emulator just to run it. Like that. That'd be weird. It's it's outdated. It's trash. And um, wow, saying that kind of hurts a little too. You know, it's just kind of a weird bittersweet thing that Flash is is just going away and um, I don't know I just kind of wanted to make a little video to pay my respects I guess so yeah rest in peace friend I'll try my best not to forget you so yeah um, peace and sheep I got a movie coming out soon so look forward to that and uh, yeah I guess I'll see you then bye